In honor of International Women's Day coming up on March 8th, a whole lot of female YouTubers are looking back on their high school lives and dishing out advice to their past selves. I think this advice can be actually valuable for both men and women, so here I go with Martina's Dare May. This is really important. I know that Buffy ends at the end of season five and she dies and you were like, oh my God, my world is over. But don't worry, they're gonna come back with two more seasons and they're even gonna continue with comic books. Hey, so that's not what this video is about. This isn't to help you get over your TV dramas. This is about real life advice that the world can apply to. Oh. oh, I'll start again. Okay, dear me. I know a lot of other YouTubers talked about the importance of believing in yourself and it's okay to be different and just be yourself in high school and don't be dragged down and you are beautiful in every single way. Words can't drag you down. <laughs> but hey, high school Martina, you and I both know that things like fitting in and being a part of the popular crowd were never really an issue for us. Not because we did fit in or were part of the popular crowd, but because we just didn't care about fitting in. And I know that there are probably a lot of other people out there watching that can relate to what I'm saying. We didn't have any giant issues of not fitting in or not being ourselves, but that didn't mean that high school didn't have any sucky sucky suck suck problems for us. We marched to the beat of our own flute, mm. wearing Halloween costumes when our friends deemed it not cool anymore. And we were friends with whoever we liked to, whether they were labeled as cool or not. But that being said, it was a really big Debbie Downer to not find anybody to share things with that I liked. All those people I tried to convince to read fantasy novels because the Wheel of Time was awesome, trying to explain Sailor Moon, or even my interest in Japanese culture for that matter, was a total lost cause. I was pretty much convinced that there was no Nobody out there that had similar interests or tastes and things as I do. But that's because high school is kind of its own mini universe. You have to experience it every day for four to five years. So you think that it's an accurate representation of what life must be like, but that's where you're wrong. The second you leave high school forever and get a job or go to university or travel, you'll discover that there are so many people out there that are into the same things as you. This tiny little slice of life in high school is not representative of what life is actually like. Where were my Sailor Moon peeps at, yo? It's okay, I have them today. Speaking of friends, hey high school Martina. I know you had a pretty rough time at the end of high school because of your friends. You took the ending of some friendships really, really hard and it sent you into a spiraling five year depression. So let me tell you what high school Martina, I am no longer depressed after seeing a super helpful therapist and I have some advice for you. People will enter high school and be unrecognizable by the end of their final years. People you thought were once awesome, will become assholes. And people you thought were once assholes might just become awesome. Some people won't change that much at all. This will continue on after high school, at your work, at university, when you're dating, if you get married, if you have kids, forever. So what I've learned is that everybody changes and grows, including you. Some people grow together and some people grow apart. I mean, let's look at your high school self, Martina. You never wore makeup, you hated the color pink, you only wore black, you only wore baggy tomboy clothing, and now your eyebrows are pink. Pink, they're pink on purpose, pink. I'd like to blame our Hello Kitty addiction for that. The point is, you've changed tremendously. Even in the last seven years, you've been in Korea. So what I want to say is this. If you grow apart from someone, you need to accept it gracefully and not take it so personally. When you leave high school, you might have zero friends, one friend, 20 friends, but all of that will change as well. You'll meet new people and make friends, and some of your middle school and high school friends will remain really close, awesome friends in your life. Hi, Jackie. However, don't miss opportunities to make new friends because you're hanging on to old friends just because you've known each other for so long. The reason I say this is because I've met a lot of people that are friends with the same high school circle. And when I hear their conversations, it's like they don't actually like each other. They seem to have remained friends out of some kind of invisible middle school, high school duty. I said duty. And the worst part is they seem to really drag each other down with like snippy comments or jealous petty remarks. Look, you don't need to be dramatic about it. You don't need to announce it to the world or put up a Facebook post and end the friendship like quitting some angry job. Just don't limit yourself to the same experiences and make some time for new people in your life. All right, last very important piece of advice. Dear me, I wanna let you know that Sailor Moon is gonna become really popular in the future. In 2014 and 2015, they're gonna make a remake of the show and it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna be based off the actual manga and other people are gonna like it and you're gonna to talk to people online on the internet on this thing called the YouTube. Speaking of which, you need to invest in YouTube hey, and you need hey, to invest in Apple, Harry the Potter, list. there's something called Twilight, this you need to buy stocks in that. Of the uplifting nature of this video, it's not this. Invest in Twitter. Okay, if you want to hear a couple more pieces of real advice I have for my high school self, you can check it out in the blog post here. And let's get the conversation going in the comment section below. What piece of advice would you give your past self? And can you relate to any of the advice I had for my high school self? Let me know in the comment section below or on the website. And one last thing, Martina. 
Fair may. Do not eat that sulvaki in that restaurant because you're gonna get wicked ass food poisoning. Like, I mean, projectile arching rainbow and you'll never be able to touch it for the next like 10 years.